I have another video here to share with you guys on how to run Ubuntu on your Windows computer from a USB stick or flash drive, whatever you want to call it. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Ubuntu, it is a free Linux operating system or distribution that you can download and install on your Windows computer. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Ubuntu and set it up on a USB flash drive where you can then boot from that flash drive and run Ubuntu live and play around with the operating system and see if you like it or not before you wipe out your current operating system or, or you know or anything like that it won't hurt it or damage it you can basically run this right over top of it and have some fun playing around with ubuntu linux so what you guys need though of course is a flash drive now there is mine transcend four gig you can use a two gig flash drive whatever just make sure you delete all your data off here before you do this because we're going to be formatting that to set this up so go to google and type in pen drive linux we're going to go to this nice little nifty program here called Pendrive Linux. Make sure that you go to this official website. And then you want to find the universal USB installer. So once you get to this link and this page here, you can scroll down and you can see right there's a screenshot of it, guys. It's a really simple, like it's, it walks you right through how to do this. Um, what you want to do is find this button right here. Download this program, which I already did download. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that. You want to download that into your downloads folder. And you should have something that looks like this. Universal USB installer and whatever version it is at the time you guys are watching the video. So what you want to do is double click that. And you're going to get a prompt. Now I'm going to minimize everything so we can just see this. Once you get that prompt, go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive to your PC. Now I plugged mine in. Now, if I take a look at my drives here, I know that mine is USB drive H right there. So you want to be very careful of this. So once you get that in, go ahead and agree to that. Now select a Linux distribution. You can actually choose other distributions of Linux here, guys. You can use this for whatever you looks really awesome. And it walks you right through it. So here is Ubuntu. I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And then over here, this opens up for us to check mark. And it says download link opened. And basically, you want to check mark that. And if you click yes, it's going to immediately start a download right there, which is really awesome. So what I'm going to do is close out of that because I already did download that to my downloads folder. So I'm going to pause that, cancel out of it, and remove it. And jump back to the browser here and minimize that. And go back into my downloads folder. And you can see I downloaded it. And it, will, it should download as a .iso here. So once you get that downloaded, you simply browse to it, and it's right there. I'm going to browse to it, select it, and I'm just going to click open. That loads it right in there, and um, we should be all ready to go here to select your USB drive. So now here, select your USB uh, drive. There is mine. It is H. If you do not see yours or you're having some trouble there, you can check mark this box, and it'll show all your drives. But I'd be very careful with that so you don't accidentally choose the wrong drive and format the wrong drive, or you'll really mess things up. And have a mess so be very careful there i'm simply going to you know choose my flash drive and then check mark this box that says format we will format your h drive which is the flash drive on my computer drive as fat32 so i'm going to go ahead and click create i'm going to get another prompt here and it's simply just choose yes this is another warning are you absolutely positive this is your device and you definitely want to make sure of that and make sure it was empty and had all your pictures and data off it before you click yes. So I'm going to click yes. And this is actually setting up my USB drive. And it is going to go ahead and extract stuff. Now, you guys probably should download this program as well. And it is called 7-Zip. So if you get here and you have any trouble extracting, um, it's going you know, it's going to open up this program and, and use it to extract the files to your flash drive so if you run into any trouble there you need to download something called 7-zip just google that and download 7-zip whatever version applies to you and you will need that to extract maybe i will put a link in the description again if there's any comments or questions leave that stuff in this in the description guys and i'll try and you know leave a link to the 7-zip unzipping software here so what you're going to do then is wait for this to download, and I may jump ahead here. Actually, I will. I'm going to pause this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I jumped ahead a little bit here, guys, to save a little time, and we're about 97%. So this should be finishing up on this part of it.
shouldn't take us much longer here. We're pretty much almost done. We'll just take a look at the flash drive. All right, so it is going through an editing configuration files here. And it is just about finished. Setting up the flash drive. So there it said process complete. So now if I go in here to my computer and take a look at my flash drive, you can see it has a new label. It's called UUI. If you double click it, there are all the files that it copied to the flash drive there. As you can see, let me pull them back up. So there's all the files. And basically, guys, that's the flash drive ready to go. So all you need to do now, once you get that far, and it is it needs to be labeled UUI, make sure that you know it shows that that is uh, what it needs to do. So all you need to do now, I'm not going to reboot my computer and boot from it, but all you guys need to do is reboot your computer and you'll have the options to choose Ubuntu Live, which is the one you'd want to choose. And then you can play around with Ubuntu Linux. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.